Hello. Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome to another episode of The Long Dark. Um, hope you can hear me okay, and that my mic is actually uh, not too loud, not too quiet. That would be nice to know. There's a little hole here. What is this hole? I don't know. Anyway, um, if someone could let me know you're there, that would be great. <laughs> so, last episode, uh, we ended with uh, the dead wolfie out here, which caused me a little bit of a headache because we clicked on him and our game froze. But we are here in Timberwolf Mountain, uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Did the wolf actually just disappear? No, it's there. So we are in the middle of nowhere, but we need to get back to the Mountaineer's Hut as quickly as possible. And, uh, yeah, actually try and haul back everything that we got from Timberwolf Mountain, including, at last, the heavy hammer and inflated flasks. Right, we got our arrow back, which is very, very nice. And I'm not going to risk touching that again. No. No, I'm going to leave you alone. Goodbye. Right. Okie dokie. Fiddly pokey. Yay, you are there. Good. <laughs> it's always a worry when I start this and whether actually anyone is there or not. But you're, you're there. That's good. It's good to know that there is someone out there. Ooh! I didn't know this was here. Um, we've got a dead deer. Another broken arrow. Amazing. I'm going to leave you there. Backpack. Uh, let me know if the game is too loud or my voice is too loud slash quiet, whatever. And I can adjust uh, because I did have to adjust some audio stuff earlier, so it might have screwed it up a little bit. So... Uh, today, I'm not really sure what we are doing. Ooh. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. There's a hive. I want that hive. Um, we need to get back to the Mountaineer's Hut at least. I would like to go maybe back to Pleasant Valley. We've kind of spent quite a long time here. And I would like... Oh, good, good. Okay, cool. Uh... So we've been here quite a long time. I would like to move on to a different region. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, we're on day 33 of our 100-day series, and I haven't explored that much of the map. I would like to go to some different regions, really. So I'm thinking maybe we go uh, Coastal Highway. Maybe, maybe. I think that might be quite good. Uh, because then we can kind of go... Uh, exploring, there's a lot to loot there, a lot to explore, and also we are on our way to Desolation Point at that point, which is very, very, very nice. Um, yeah, and I need to hunt the moose, that's the other thing. I definitely need to just get this moose hunted so we can get the satchel. At that point, we are ready and raring to go. Yeah, it's, it's until death, but my kind of soft... Uh, soft target is 100 days. So we're going to keep going after 100 days. Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. We are going to keep going. But 100 days is like my overarching goal. I will keep going until we die. Don't worry. But um, I would like to... At least 100 days really is, uh, is what I'm aiming for. So... Um, we are just coming out. So the way to Ash Canyon was on the right from down there, so we are finally on our way out of that pit, which is just lovely, and we can, if I hit a thousand, it'll be a miracle, <laughs> honestly. Um, my personal playthrough, which I've been using to practice on, um, I just reached 100 days, as long as I've ever survived in this game, um, by nothing short of a miracle, and a lot of that was kind of sat in one place doing not a huge amount. Uh, but I don't really want to do that. I've already done that a little bit with this character when we were up the summit. I don't really want to do that much longer. I feel like we should probably press on from Timberwolf Mountain. We spent a lot of time here. Out of, like, I probably shouldn't be doing this outside here, but uh, to put in perspective, I think we spent a good 
10 days between here and Ash Canyon. Most of that was in Timberwolf Mountain. So I don't really want to be here much longer. Being here for potentially um, a tenth of the 100 day soft target seems a bit silly. We do have a ton of meat here. I think, do we? Do we have a ton of, I can't remember. I can't, I honestly can't remember. There's so many playthroughs I'm doing right now. Um, I think we've got some food back there. But I'd rather get back to Pleasant Valley uh, and kind of organize a bit. I want to kind of get to our t my second my second target, which is a hard target before we die, which is to uh, grow some potatoes, which is the, the idea. If we can grow some potatoes, I will be very, very happy to do that. We need to go to the forge. I would rather go to the one in Desolation Point because I just prefer Desol Desolation Point to Fallen Muskeg. At that point, uh, we can craft, I think it's five different crops that need the metal box crafted. Uh, so if we can make five of them, I believe they're two kilos each, so that's ten kilos. So it's a lot of weight. But if we could craft one of each one of them, I would be pretty content. There's a wolfy boy right there. <laughs> yeah. They can be made into delicious stews. It's uh, it's the height of luck. Oh god, the height of luxury for a potato. Don't know. I can't have my leg. No, uh, we're gonna need to heal up. Come on, quickly. But like the worst time for that to happen. Fine. I don't think it noticed us. Um. There are others on the ledge. Do we have a rock on us? They've run away. No. Um, no, you know what? We, we've got too much stuff. I, I've got too much stuff to worry about rather than trying to hunt rabbits right now. Just get back. Um, and we can assess. So. Um, I'm trying to think. Did we see the moose? It feels like forever ago I last did a stream. It's really not. I think it's just my brain. Uh, did we see the moose over there? Or was that in my head? I think we saw the moose over there, didn't we? Maybe I should try and hunt that before we go. Um, I'll have a quick look. Uh, probably once we... Well, once this wind has died down, slash turned into a storm and gone. Because I feel like we're going to need to. Hello, welcome back. Go back in. Yeah, we didn't have a huge amount of stuff here. I thought we had more, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, we had the bare minimum, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. Them. Well, we're probably going to need them. Uh, jerry can, which had some lamp oil in it. Uh, which we don't actually need. We've got the hacksaw. How much health do we have left on the hacksaw? 21. I think let's leave that one here. Take that one, which is... Oh, it's not that much better. Um, we need to take one, at least. Uh, that will do, that will do. We don't need that. Yeah. I thought, we, I thought we'd seen one. Right, so... I would like to go back to Peasant Valley, but also if we could hunt a moose, that would be amazing. Um, so, let's put a couple of bits away. We've got the bow and arrow. I reckon that we can probably make that work. We've got 69 ammo. Nice. I forgot about that. Uh, chuck that in the way. We've got loads of arrows. This will be fine. So much coffee as well. This is so good. It's nice to have all this stuff. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, getting that extra plus five would be great. Ah, no problem. Yeah, actually, my, my latest series that I have been meaning to finish for a long time because uh, various stuff has got in the way. 
I have just finished recording the last bits of it, so I'm hoping I should be able to edit and put it together, hopefully for tomorrow, if not Friday. So that will be the end of that series. Uh, it's been going on a long time, so apologies for how long it's taken for me to finally get that one episode out. Uh, right, let's put that away, put that away. I don't think we need both of them. That, we don't need that. Um... I'm just putting stuff away so that we can hunt this moose, really. I'm going to get it out straight away afterwards. So, really, we don't need half of this. Um, okay. Oh, apologies if you can hear... You probably can't hear because of the wind in the game. But outside where I'm currently recording, it sounds ridiculous. We've got a proper storm going on. And um, I don't know what the wind's hitting, but it's causing a, a massive racket, which sounds like whistling nonstop. Anyway, um, so we've got our bow. Let's try and have a drink of water before we head off. Okay, I think it's probably as good a time as any. Let me roll up my sleeves, because we're hunting a moose, hopefully. It should be just over this hill. Um, as a warning, I've only killed two moose before this, and that, I believe, was with rifles. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. I think moose need either a... is it one or two direct headshots with a bow? I think it might just be one, but they don't bleed like anything else. So, this is going to be interesting. Where are you? I can't see him. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be the same. <laughs> it's not very nice out there. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. It's hitting something anyway. It's causing an awful racket. There's um when when the wind hits a certain direction, there's loads of boats as well around, and um, yeah, it's amazing the noise that can be uh, made just through hitting the cables on the boats. Right. Where are you, Moosey boy? Last time you were here, you are here no more. Um, I honestly can't hear it at all. Or see it. I don't know how wide an area it can roam in. Something stupid out there at the moment. For me, anyway. Um, let's go a little further across. I just don't want to get too close to it. The problem is, if I get too close to it, it gets really territorial and just run and charge at me. Really don't want that, because then I'll probably die. I don't really want this run to end because I decided to get too close to a moose. Where is it? Has it moved on? I think they can move on, can't they? We might have, we might have just spent more too much time here, but I think the trees change, don't they, once it's, ha it's happened? I honestly don't know. I don't know enough about this game to be streaming it, really. <laughs> uh, I've never really... I don't really tend to get that far with this game for moose. Or at least ever bother with them. But having that extra capacity would be a game changer right now. Ah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Just trying to hunt a moose. But it seems to have gotten away from me. Um, I, reckon just, I reckon it's just gone. I think they can migrate around. 
I'm not sure if that's strictly true or not, but it, it, I think they can. It's definitely not here anymore. Um, I will check briefly up the hill if I can get up there. And then I think we might just have to pack it in. Try again another time, I guess. Or maybe try and look for the one in Pleasant Valley. In hindsight, that might be a good idea. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to lug it all the way there anyway. Just get up here and have a little look. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Yeah, moose are terrifying. In this and in real life. I mean, more, more so in real life, really, because it's, it's real. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, they are absolutely terrifying. That's, uh. Can I go up here and round? Can't see it. I reckon it's moved on. Which is a shame. Yeah, it's probably about that. Uh, I yeah, I don't think it's up to the fifties, if that's what it is with where you are. Um it's about that though. The thing is we get the worst of it because they might record thirty eight miles now, whatever in um on the mainland, but we get the brunt of it before it hits anyone else. And it just, it's, yeah. We have no other protection between us and the Atlantic, so we get the full force of it. Um. Well, I think if you, if you maybe got a couple of good shots to the head, maybe. <laughs> if you got extremely lucky. Um. The thing is, I don't quite know how it's meant to work because in this moose don't bleed every under other ugh, every other animal bleeds um so if you shoot any animal including a bear with this it will event and the arrow sticks in it it will eventually just bleed out a moose will not um a moose will just keep going until you hit it with something else or hit it again and again with arrows so yeah i, I don't know what to say about this moose i mean there's still the markings on the trees over there, you can see it. Which indicates that it's around. But. Um, I don't know. I'm going to briefly check up here just in case because it might have gone that way. And then I think we're going to pack it in and just go to Pleasant Valley, I guess. Because I want to go back there. It's been quite a long time. Yeah, to be fair, that's not actually that bad. <laughs> it can get a lot worse here. Um, I think we've had 18 mile an hour winds in the past. Most winters, like now, we get really bad wind. This isn't that bad. Um, yeah, we've had... Well, there's a, there's a part of um, the island where the whole of the coastline, it used to have, like... A nice woodland there. And if you go there now, there's like a there's a walk along the coastline. And all the trees are bleached white. Uh, because they all pretty much got petrified during this one massive storm, I think, in the 80s. Uh, and just the salt the salt petrified them. And the winds just killed them. It's, it's nuts. It's really weird to see because they look fossilized. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it can get really bad here. And uh, when the only way of getting to and from the islands uh, during this time of year is plain, it's not not great. Not great. So, let's take uh, some of the bits that I left behind here uh, to take back with me. I'm not going to take that, I'm not going to take that. I think we're just going to take the stuff I left in here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know what I'm doing. Just move all. Yeah, we are heavy. Only five kilos over, though. We can technically still run. Yeah, do we have... Um, we've got tons of coffee, so I don't mind having a spare. 
That's already open, so I can fit... There's 15 calories in there. Why was I saving that? Okay. Uh, let's finish off the water. To be fair, we do have that many sticks, which I do not need. Uh, we are getting a bit tired. Let's sleep for... Three hours. <clears throat> because I think once we get to Pleasant Valley, we can just... Um, sleep in that abandoned prepper bunker we went to before. Right, so it's starting to get late, but... Oh, God. Unless I walk into there, which I don't really want to. Cool. So that's fine. Now, Sodge Law, isn't it going to be that we are going to see this moose as soon as we go over this hill now that we're leaving? I bet you we are. And I'm probably going to have to just ignore it. Salt is tasty, though, but I'm not sure if you want to have 80 mile an hour winds of salt blown in your face. <laughs> I think uh, I'm a bit too much salt for most people. <laughs> and to be fair, I don't know how strong this storm was back in the 80s, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, more than uh, 80 miles an hour if it was able to do that to a load of trees. Right. So, I don't really know what we're going to be doing this episode. Yeah. That's that's yeah, the winds can get that fast over here. It has done a few times, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't get hurricanes really here, but the winds can get stupidly strong. Like it was um I think it was fifty here the other day. And that's standard. Fifty sixty isn't is like high, but it's not people will kind of be like, Oh yeah, that's quite high. It's it's just people are used to it over here now. It's when it gets uh, when it gets more than sixty, I think people are more like, okay, yeah, we should probably we should probably take notice of that. Maybe don't go outside and <laughs> play in it. Um, but yeah, I think people are just used to wind levels being stupidly high over here. Same with the price of everything. Well, I haven't seen this moose again, so I think it might have just gone. No, I'm. I mean, I I don't. I don't even know how to measure that in kilometers an hour. I mean miles an hour. Like, yeah, miles miles per hour, not kilometers. We don't really do kilometers per hour in the UK. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 high. It's very, very high. Um, right. Yeah, it's very, very fast wind. <laughs> anyway. If we're fine going back to Pleasant Valley, and we should be able to go down the hill technically with the rope without having to need to use the rope. Uh, there's a little trick that we can just kind of uh, shimmy down the hillside without actually having to use the rope. It's a little bit dangerous, but I think the worst we should get is a sprained ankle from it. And then we're going to have a nice little kip in the abandoned prepper bunker, make our way back to our, our nice little farmstead. And yeah, we will, um, I think we'll just get settled for a bit. I know, imperial system. <laughs> what is our stats looking? I haven't really looked in a while. Our cooking is level three, 15% for any cooked item. That's nice. No calorie loss and smashing. Oh, that's very nice. Calories starting. We're nearly up to level 3 in rifles and archery. That's very nice. Okay, I would like to get cooking up a lot higher. And if we're able to hunt a moose and cook all the meat, we should be yeah, able to uh, get easily to level 4 if we cooked everything. Really? It was like... 45 the other day here and no one you just don't yeah that, that wasn't that bad <laughs> um although to be fair we're right on the cut we are in the middle of the atlantic so if you're if you're like if you're like um landlocked or something 55 would be awful like if, if you got 55 mile an hour wind in like london that would be horrendous so it's like i, I get that but on the coast it's, it's not that bad really
Right. Anywho. We are here. We're back in Pleasant Valley, finally. Oh, I've missed you. It's been... It's, we've been gone a little while. So... I'm just trying to think. I think Pleasant Valley would be a nice place to go. If we took the heavy hammer... Uh, took one of our rifles, I think. And then some basic supplies and just went. That would be fine. We'll dump most of what we've got. I might look for the moose before we go. Because I don't think we've seen it on Pleasant Valley, have we? I'm trying to think where it would be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's nowhere for us to go. Um, and the ground's solid granite, so it's not like you can even make bunkers or anything in, in this. It's, um, yeah, we are, we're sitting ducks. They can't exactly hide or evacuate anywhere. They nearly did evacuate the islands once uh, when it was flooding, but they, uh, they luckily didn't in the end. So, there is a way of doing this, and I need to remember, it's not that way. I believe it's this way. So let's go up on this ridge. We'll crouch. Uh, we need to... A weather service? I, I don't know what you mean by a weather service. Um... Oh, no, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, down. And then we need to go over here. Just stick to... Basically, you can do this type of thing as long as you stick to the rocks as much as possible. Uh, and the most you'll risk is a sprain. There we go. And we just descended that without need of a rope. And we are absolutely A-OK. -okay. Very nice. Right. Into this hatch we go. So, I know where the bear is. Oh, we've got... We've got, like weather forecast stuff. Um, yeah, there's, there's like a national forecast guide thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, yeah, they do. They predict the weather and stuff and do all that. And if it was too high and it was risk of everyone dying, someone would step in. <laughs> they wouldn't just leave us. Um, yeah, we've got the, the people who do that. Um, right. That's searched. What have I left in? Nuts and bolts. I don't think I want nuts and bolts. I don't even know what nuts and bolts are for. Oh, we didn't bring a pry bar, did we? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So. Yeah, this is what I left behind previously. Let's pick it all up. And drop all that. Cool, we're only five over, and if I drop that, yeah, less than that, that's cool. Okay. There we go. And it is dark. Do we have anything to read? No. Yeah, yeah, we have nothing like that. We don't have to worry about tornadoes or anything like that. We, uh... Just kind of crack on, <laughs> deal with everything, deal with the weather. Um, the only thing we worry about, and it's not really, it's not even a worry. It's just um, fishing, like fishing times a year when you can fish shellfish and stuff like that, because they tend to go bad in certain months and blah blah blah. But I think that's no pretty... stomach. Oh, it hurts. Oh god, it hurts. That's very dramatic, Astrid. <laughs> right, we got food poisoning. That's not a problem. Uh, do we have any tea? I swear we packed tea. We did. We did. We not. Did we ever do it in the end? Transfer? No, we didn't. Okay, fine. I keep misremembering everything. Let's have some antibiotics. Uh, because the, uh, yeah, basically because the condition on that was twenty percent. Uh, we had a chance of getting it. I think it's anything technically in the yellow, we have a chance of getting food poisoning if it's of certain food types. So if it's a soda, you can't get it. But I think anything else technically you can. And if it contains meat, 
you are more likely to get it. I'm not sure if these emeralds technically contain meat. I guess they do. Um, yeah. But that's why I ate that one now rather than that one, because we are now ready to sleep. And the good thing is about this game that it we need to sleep 10 hours uh, to recover this. And although, uh, if you can see our uh, tiredness bar, it's only half, so chance that we could only normally sleep 5 hours. However, if we try to sleep 10 hours, because we are sick, the game normally lets you. So if we sleep 10 hours, we will wake up and it will say that we are here. Touch wood. Yeah, there we go. So we're fine. And it's uh, let us sleep for 10 hours, which it shouldn't have done normally. So we're all good. Is that all the water we've got? That tiny drip. Yeah, it is. Um, and we've got nothing else to actually get water from. It's just that. And the rest is going to dry us, uh, dry our mouth out. No. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Eat that dog food. I don't think there's a way of cooking down here, is there? No, there's not. Okay, we're going to have to push on. And I don't remember whether we went this way. We didn't, did we? We went straight up here from the side. Yeah, we went round. We did not go to this cave on the far left-hand side. I'm worried that's an Aurora Sky. Um, I don't want to have to deal with an Aurora right now. Can we just start this? 100% second chance. It'll last for an hour and six. That's enough to cook. That's fine. I'll just do that. Uh, 85. Uh, just use the accelerant. There we go. Real. We just need some water. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Do we have enough time to do another one? Yeah, should do. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done both. That's fine. Let's drink that one. Now tide us over a bit. And how much water do we actually pick up doing that? One litre. Okay, that, that should get us home, or at least get to somewhere else where we can cook again. That's not a problem. So, how many calories are you lacking? 390-odd. I kind of want to keep the, that. Uh, let's eat this mackerel. It is low condition, but it shouldn't make us food poisoned. There we go. Lovely. Cool. So, let's take a torch. Let's head off. Yeah, it's not an Aurora Sky. Good. We're fine. We just need to get past this wolf. It should be on the left-hand side. And we're going to go explore that cave. I don't remember doing this with you guys, so I'm presuming I haven't done it yet. I might be very wrong on that, but I don't think I have. So, just up here on the left, there's a picnic area. Um, which has a couple of benches on it, and then there's a cave next to it. And what's good about this place is that there is a chance for the rifle to spawn, a revolver to spawn, and I believe the bow to spawn as well. And we can get a bunch of stuff in the cave, including like a ton of flares and all sorts of stuff. So it's a really, really good place to uh, go and check out. And if, you, if your starting location is here, which it can be, this is a really good place to check first. So we're going to go have a look at this. Thankfully, no wolves have come and found us, which is very nice. I s Why did I open my mouth? Where is it? Where is it? I can't even see it. Just run. Just try and get to the cave. Get to the cave. Just get in the cave. 
<laughs> there. Well, we're in the cave. I wanted to explore outside first, but to be fair, this is fine. <clears throat> I wanted to get in here before, uh, so we can rest up just a couple of hours for it to be daytime. But we can use the rest of this torch to explore a little bit. So in here we can find a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of openings. Uh, it's And you can find coal in here as well. But it all leads into each other, so you don't really need to worry too much about getting lost. I definitely haven't been in here because I wouldn't have left this stuff. We can still run, we're fine. So this is going to burn out any second, which is really annoying. But we do have the lantern. Right, got marine flare. Nice. And we got this little crawl space, which we're going to go into. Now, we have a chance down here of finding an upgraded version of the lantern. Which I'm really hoping to find. It, I think it is twice as fuel efficient, but it gives off half the light. Which is a bit weird, but it still functions perfectly well as a lantern. So, um, what we need to do before we go through this is we need to take all our clothes off. It seems very counterproductive, but... Yeah. We go through this, it soaks us, and makes us hypothermia risk instantly. If we were wearing clothes, we would um, be very, very cold, and our stuff would all be soaked. So, massive chance of uh, hypothermia and just dying. So, we don't want that. Nobody needs this anymore. A decent coal witch and sweater. The warmest sweater around, inspired by traditional sweaters conceived by the coal witch and first nation to the island of Canada. Treat it like an old friend. Ooh! That's really good stuff. Um, is it better than this? Oh my god, it's much better. I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, it's more waterproof as well. Okay, this is going on the outside. Oh, this is amazing. Apparently it's the warmest one around as well, so um, we got lucky with that. What What's it look like then? 2.5? That's better than most outer layers. Awesome. Okay. And what else do we get? Pinnacle Peaches. Okay. And I don't know if we're going to find anything else, because that seems like it would be the thing to find here. Oh, wait, is that a lantern? Ah, this is it. it. Rigged for fuel efficiency. I can't talk. <laughs> Rigged for fuel efficiency. A light for deep, dark places when other lights go out. So this is really, really useful. So we do not need the other lantern that we've got right now because we can just use this, and it's much more fuel efficient. That's very nice. What is our weight looking like? Oh, we are very nearly fully encumbered. Let's uh, test it out. Yeah, it's not as bright, but it still works fine. It, do it does the job. So, anyway. Close all back off again. This pack is too heavy to carry. Can we even walk? We can walk. Uh, put that away before anything else. Yes, I know it's cold. Calm down, Astrid. Right. Uh, no, we need to wear that. No, everything back on. We need to get some better gloves. All our stuff is like amazing and some of the best stuff we can get in the game now. Uh, but our glove situation is pretty pants. We've still got these decent wool mitts. I think we should probably try and get some rabbit ones. Uh, just something that will actually keep us a lot warmer. Right. There we go. Let's go through here. And then we go through round to the right, and that will take us back to the beginning. And in doing so, hopefully we can find some more like marine flares and stuff, and a few other bits. I don't think we can find anything too excessive. Like that's the main loot of this place. But yeah, like that, another marine flare, and a few other bits. Hopefully, like that. Um, we can't really take much more that's heavy because 
We've, <laughs> we're very nearly uh, unable to even run at this point. Too much stuff once again. No, nothing there. Right, um, flint, no. I found out, I think, the flint, uh, from what I gather, because I, I couldn't find a use for it. I believe it ties in with another mod by th possibly the same person. Um, you know, I could just put my hands in my pockets, that'd probably be better than the, <laughs> than the gloves. Um, but I think it's by the same person, but it adds a way of making fire that way. It's like a couple of people have said right at the beginning, it would be like that should be a way of making fire, it's just like flint and art, flint and steel. Uh, it adds that ability, so you can use a bit of scrap iron with a bit of flint, and you can then make fire. I didn't know that was a thing, so I didn't actually have it in the mod pack. I could add it, but I think it's a bit late at this point. We've already got fire strikers and all the matches in the world. So, yeah. I mean, I guess if you wanted to do it in Interloper for some reason, if you want to make Interloper easier. But I feel like Interloper's hard for a reason, so, I don't know. But you can play the game however you want. But anyway... Oh, we're out of that cave. Stretch my back a little bit. Uh, the wolf, thankfully, is gone. And I think it's time we go back to our little hoose. Hi, how's it going? Got a hunter's knife. Perfect. Very nice. We can still run. That's that's not bad. Okay. There was no gun, no anything. But that's all right. That's not too bad. So, how's our situation looking like calorie-wise? We're fine calorie-wise. Should probably eat something like this, because it weighs a ton, 0.6 weight. Let's eat that. We'll drop the can. And that gives us a little bit of extra extra weight to play around with. Okay, we'll drop just those. That's fine. Oh, the wolf's right there. Did those cans just disappear? They did. That was weird. <laughs> um, I think it was meant to do that. Did they fall in the water? No idea. Alright, we're going to continue along the river because I still think the river is the safest way to go. Uh, when I've done this single player, the river tends to be the safest way for me to get around on Pleasant Valley. Um, I say that in the latest episode I put out uh, today with a single player, I literally did the same thing and there were two wolves in the river further down. Um, so, I, I guess they can spawn on the riverside, but I've had very... That's the only time I've ever had uh, wolves next to the river like that. So maybe I've just got lucky in the past, but the amount of wolves that are in Pleasant Valley is ludicrous. So, uh, I think you can you take every little win you can, really, when you're getting... avoiding them. The only issue is that there is a bear that can spawn just around here. You have to come up this bank to avoid the waterfall. And then you need to make your way down um, past the waterfall. And then you can walk along the river again. It's fairly safe. But it is a little bit dangerous getting past that bear. Speaking of, uh, what is our... Oh, wait, it's still pretty pants, and there's nothing really we can drop. We could harvest this. Oh, I'm not going to. The tallow is incredibly useful for making candles and also for uh, just burning in general. Uh, the tin plugs are obviously useful, and the honey is half a kilo. But it's like, what is it, six or eight hundred calories? So it's all very, very useful. I don't really want to... Because and if I harvest it, I'd have to drop some of it. And the only way to make it weight efficient is to drop the tinder plug. And even then, I'm only losing a tiny bit of weight. I think like 0.1. It's not really worth the effort. Right. I'm just having a think about the best way to do this. We go to the left, but we would end up going past all sorts. Um, potentially the bear, wolves, everything. And 
we do we have any lights? We don't have a, uh, any torches on us. So we'd have to use the flares. We do have two flares. But it wouldn't be the safest journey in the world. So I'm thinking... There's a wolf up there. Let's just try and go this way. Try and get this way past the waterfall. And then we will push down. Get to the... Uh, the river that travels along the width of the map. And that's really easy to get back to the f uh, farm at that point. Because there's part of the river just flows straight past it. And we can just nip over the hill and we are there. Which is this bit is a little bit precarious. But to be fair, unless we're hunting the... Uh, the moose, I don't think we'll ever have to come up this way again. And even then, I don't even know if the moose does come up here. We'll have to look for the trees to tell whether it does or not. For a split second, I thought that tree branch and then that overturned tree looked like a giant moose. <laughs> I thought that was the antler and that was the body. Um, that, that was very weird. Didn't like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a point in this map where I was walking around and I was like, well, there's wolves on my left, there's wolves on my right, there's wolves ahead of me, and there's wolves technically behind me. Uh, there's wolves everywhere on Pleasant Valley. Uh, which is kind of why I want to go somewhere that's a little bit more friendly, yeah, I, I guess. Uh, I mean, not Mystery... We, we've done Mystery Lake. Mystery Lake's boring. It's, it's too easy. I think Coastal Highway, although it's easy, is a nice compromise. I quite like it. There's a few different extra challenging bits about it. Um, and with the foraging mod we've got, or one of them anyway, it adds um, orcas, or at least orca um, corpses, which can wash up on the shoreline, and we can harvest them for guts and some meat, I believe. So that would be an interesting um, <laughs> addition to our diet. Some uh, tasty orca. Um, but yeah. Might be something to look at. Right, so can we go down here? Is this going to be too steep? Nah, nothing's too steep for Astrid. Go! Uh, no, that's actually a little bit of... Um, yeah, a little bit of... Um, whatever the word is. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> is what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, there's the river there. Birch Forest is just there. Uh, that red marker is the barn that we had stayed in way back when. So we just need to get down this extremely steep, steeper hillside. We will be A-OK. -okay. There we go. We were fine. Easy peasy. Let's crouch again. Yeah, the only place I really know of where the moose spawns here is... Um, right near the fishing spot. The only fishing spot uh, at the top of the map. And I didn't see it... Oh, God, that was close. I didn't see it there before when we passed up there. I didn't look too hard, though. I could have easily missed it. So maybe we should have another look. I think it can also spawn in the birch forest opposite here. So we could have another look. But again, I want to drop off all our stuff before we even attempt to do something like that. There we go. Oh, we got down that stupidly steep hill. That's good. It should be a hop, skip and a jump. And we will be back at base, hopefully. Touch wood. Run. Yeah, I'm constantly trying to look at the trees to see if there are moose markings. Because one of those things, I don't know the game that in depth that I can tell where all the moose spawns are. I only know where I've seen them myself. Um, I don't tend to check the uh, spoiler maps too much, too regularly. Um, I don't inspect them that much anyway. Um, it's nice to figure out that stuff out while you're playing, I think. 
And even then, they're not they're not that obvious. They're kind of... I, I like them to a certain extent because they don't give that much away, despite the fact they're spoilers. They'll be like, oh, there's a moose in this general area, but it doesn't show the whole area it can be in. It just go, has a little moose marker in the, in the middle of it, which is quite nice. But I, again, I haven't really looked at that Pleasant Valley in a long time, so I do not know where it would be. Um, we're quite far across because we're at the Red Barn. We need to be at the Homestead, which is a little bit of a trek. That's why we can have a nice little wander across the river. I think the other place I would like to check out is that yeah, close flying ahead. I think the other place I would like to check out this playthrough is uh, I I would like to check out Black Rock uh, Prison. I've never been there. There's timber wolves there, and it looks scary as hell. But I think it'd be quite fun to try. Um, we can get the noisemaker from there, and I've seen I can't remember the stream. I think I mentioned it last episode. Um, streamer throw uh, basically one of those noisemakers at a bunch of the birds and they just all exploded <laughs> and died instantly about five of them in the whole group uh, so it looks very fun if I can get that and try that out that would be amazing um, yeah it, in real life? no no I had a deer jump over our car when I was or like five. Um, not like it jumped over the back of it. So I saw it in like the rear view mirror. So it was like feet away from me when it jumped over the car. Um, but we were fine. And then the truck behind us hit it. <laughs> uh, well, I think it hit them. I think the, it, the deer did more damage to the truck than the truck did to the deer. Um, by a significant amount. Because I'm pretty sure the deer just shook it off and got, got away. And the truck was, <laughs> was not in a good state. Yeah. We, um, they're probably not as crazy as the ones. They try to introduce deer to the aisles. Um, I don't know why. This was a long time ago. They try to introduce them to one of the uninhabited islands called Samson, which, I mean, it just seems cruel looking back because this was, I think this was years and years and years ago. It might have been in the early 80s, maybe in the 70s even. Um, basically, it's an uninhabited island. There's very little in terms of anything that grows there. It's all, like, shrubs and grass uh, and, like, the hardy plants that grow near the seaside. There's no trees, nothing nothing like that. And, um, or maybe the odd very, very, very small one. Anyway, they tried to introduce deer to this island for some reason. Um, and they... From what I've told, I'm not sure if it's true, because I heard it from a couple of sources, so I'm presuming it is. Um, they apparently all committed suicide, which I didn't know deer could do. But apparently they all basically just ran into the sea and drowned. Um, which is just god-awful. But apparently they just did, which is very strange. It's a very weird story. Um, but, uh, yeah, weird if true. And the people who told me are quite reliable, so I'm assuming it is true. But I learned quite a lot. I learned that deer are commit suicide and that people are stupid for trying to introduce them to an inhabited, pretty much lifeless island. Right, so it's down here. I don't even know why you would try to introduce deer, though. I mean, you could try and introduce, like, boar or something. That would make a bit more sense. Um, we've got, we've got like, our own animals that live here that are unique. Not many, but we've got, like, uh, I think we've got a butterfly. We've got a particular type of plant. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, no, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, like, a... It, peculiar to here. And we've got a silly shrew that lives here, which is native to here. Um, and a type of bird, I think, that burrows in the ground. Apart from that, I think there's not a huge amount that's special. 
But most, we've got some weird plants over here, quite a lot from like South Africa and stuff, because they can live here, whereas they can't really live here in, um, they can't live on the mainland UK. But because we get amazing summers here, they can, and because we don't get that harsh a wind, so we get the wind, but we don't get the cold, we like never get frost. I think it's only happened a few times that snow settled here and it got cold enough to have frost. So, yeah, we get quite a lot of plants that shouldn't really be here, but they are. So it's quite cool. Anyway, um, I'm just going to hold the W button. I'm going to have a sip of tea because I think it's probably going to be cold by now. Yeah, we have puffins, but they're not native to here. Um, <clears throat> I don't think originally, anyway. I think that they're, they're islandly tend to be. There's loads of, there are loads of them, but they're not like special to the islands. I don't think, like in in terms of, they're only found here. But there's a couple of species that are only found on the islands. That's what I mean, um, like unique. But yeah, we can get puffins here. People come actually to see the puffins, it's quite funny. I've never seen the puffins myself, no. I've never eaten them, no. <laughs> I don't think you're meant to eat them. Are you? Like, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to eat puffins. In hindsight, they might be quite tasty. But no, I, no, they're too... They're too cute and awkward to eat. Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, look, it's our wolf friends. Hello, four of you. You're going to be dinner soon, don't worry. The, the tea was cold, yes, unfortunately. Um, it was a fruit tea, so it wasn't a... Uh, it was called Joy, which is that's really ironic. <laughs> um, my wife got me a... It was a tea advent calendar. Um, and I think I'm about 15 days behind on it. <laughs> Um, but it's quite nice having all these different types of tea. I imagine puffins are really good. They look like they would be quite tasty, but they're just they just too they're too funny and awkward and cute to eat. Yeah, it's like eating a baby penguin. It's like it's just something you wouldn't do, is it? I don't know. Some some people out there might want to eat a baby penguin. Ugh. Anyway, let's get in here. Oh, look at my food stash, isn't this? Look at all the potatoes. How are you doing? No, you're not great condition. Um, or sorted wafers. Good. Anyway, let's drop the rest of the food that we've got that we aren't going to eat anytime soon. I'll uh, keep the tea on us. Um, I'll keep the coffee on us as well. Keep that inside. Nice. This is a nice selection of food we've got. That's really disturbing what where did he where did he get it where, was he was he based here I don't think he would I think everyone would have been uproar if he did it here um right, let's drop look at all this coffee it's nuts is that like 30 cups yeah 30 cups of coffee cool right uh chuck that to the back yeah um, I mean, I, I guess it's, I think everyone over here treats them almost like they're um, they're endangered. But I don't, I don't think puffins are endangered. Why can't I stand up? There we go. Thank you. That's weird. There. Um, so in Edward burnt stuff. <laughs> I just tried to pick it up, and it made a weird noise and disappeared. Uh, that was from the update where um, that broth is no longer functional and it just got removed apparently when I tried to pick it up. Okay. So we've got a bunch of water. Let's drink that. Cool. And we've already researched them, haven't we? Yeah, that's fine. I need to reacquaint myself with everything. Oh, God, those matches are floating high. There we go. Let's chuck them down. And... Let's pop some more of our 
special candles down that we found. Got the joke one. And we've got the hellbender one. There we go. This is our little, little friendly collection. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. I don't know how many more we can find. I think... I think there's ten. Maybe. So we've got potentially another four to find. Right, anyway. Um... Oh, apparently we can still read those, can we? I didn't know we had any more books. Apparently we still do. Oh, wait, no, that one's been used. Uh, yeah, put the candles near the bar. <laughs> uh, is that one usable? Yeah. We've got loads of books. Oh, and look. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's withered. Oh, that's sad. Um... We got some rose hips though. A fully grown rose hip plant. Take that. And where are you? Should be able to harvest it. Get eight rose hips. Look at that. Our first plant. Lovely stuff. And that should, if I do wait. Yeah, it's now just potted. So it's just dirt. So we just need to fertilize that and plant another seed. And we're good. What used to have whatever it was the plant died a long time ago. I've never known them to die. I'm presuming maybe we're just a little bit too late for it. Not quite sure. Okay, I need to reacquaint myself with everything that we've got. Let's take a couple of these. I think we're going to need to make some more arrows. Um, we might need to make some candles actually. It would be nice to have some proper candles because I didn't really I haven't really used them properly in this series but they are quite handy they burn for about 8 hours and they do provide light so they're useful to have let's chuck up these way don't think we're going to need these yeah um we don't need any of them all that um Okay. Yeah, I think it's light enough to read with them. I think that's kind of the point. So, they are very nice to have. Um, so, I think it is worth uh, keeping them. And they, you can just extinguish them and relight them whenever. So, they are, they are a useful thing to keep around. Just chuck them away. We don't need that storm lance anymore. Put that away. We've got spare crampons. We'll chuck one of them away. I think two. Realistically, we could have more. But I think two's fine. Um, yeah. That's... Eleven? I'm an idiot. Let's get those two of those back. Try and find some more feathers. Oh, we've got another one. Okay. That might be enough. I don't know. I think we're going to be lacking feathers. But anyway, we can go try and make some. And we've got a bunch of wolf pelts. How many? We've got two there. I don't think we had any more, did we? Not to my knowledge. I don't think we've hunted that many wolves. No. Um, yeah, we can't do much with two. We've got two deer. Very nice. Again, can't really do much with two. Let's go down to the basement. Construct some arrows. We could just do some hunting. That might be quite fun just to do. Uh, get rid of the wolves around the base. Something to do. Um, and also, it's quite it's quite easy, especially here. I, I, I will do that. I'll show you how uh, how easy it is just to do. So, let's make some simple arrows. How many can we make max? We can make five, nice. We're probably going to run out of light before anything else, but we can try. Craft at least four. Ah, we ran out of light for the last one, that's a shame. Oh, we actually leveled up archery doing that. Very nice. Cool. Okay. 
And we'll just sleep on the floor because we can. Uh, 12. Oh no, we are going to run out of food if we do that. Nearly. Oh no, we can't see where we're going. No. Come on, Lantern, guide me home. We feel that. There we go. We didn't. Did we search these? Well, we we did, but I don't think we took them back up with us. Ooh, eight percent potatoes. Ooh. And we did we search this sack and take them? Yeah, we did. Cool. There we go. Uh, basically, I think it would be nice to hunt some wolves because if we can. It means that we can get some more hides to be able to uh, make some more stuff. And we get better with our archery and we can get better with our uh, carcass harvesting as well as our cooking. And if we can get to cooking level four, we probably won't be able to... I'll probably have to actually do the cooking itself off camera because it's going to be really boring for you guys watching me just cook hundreds of meat over the course of however long. But it might be quite nice to try and at least butcher the carcasses. It also makes this base a little bit safer. So it's probably worth doing. Um, okay. Eat the tin of sardines. We will eat the lecho. See what have we got here, really. Or I could just go outside and make it easier on myself by eating something that's high calorie. <laughs> Which I'm just going to do. There we go. What have we got then? Uh, low condition MRE. Eat that. If it gives us food poisoning, then we can take some antibiotics. Go to bed. No, we're fine. Uh, do 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 do. Sleep on the floor. Oh, well, 11 hours, whatever. And let's go shoot some wolves in the face. To be fair, we could shoot them in the leg with an arrow, and it should be enough to kill them. So we don't have to shoot them in the face. But what's good is once you have, uh, you've killed one and you've butchered it, you, the, you'll be stinky enough that the other wolves will come to find you. And then it's quite fun because they literally all come to your doorstep. So you can easily hunt them. And especially with this uh, balcony that we've got. We can stand here and they won't try and attack us. So it gets kind of cheesy. But it is a very safe way to try and hunt them. So... Try and lure one over. Come on then. I just want you. There we go. still coming. Come on, come to me. Where are you? I can hear it, but I can't. There it is. Okay, the arrows disappeared annoyingly. Um, but what we can do is, yeah, we got it back just by clicking on it, uh, get the guts and the hide, the knife is the best for this, temperature's fine outside so we should be right doing this, nice, I'm not sure I can carry right, much more. we're now extremely stinky, so, Um, we should. Uh, I don't want to get too high up 
you, yeah, you can kind of see them all looking this way, coming towards us. Even the ones at the front will probably start coming towards us. Because we're super stinky. What we're going to do is we're just going to stand here for a second. Until we see them. Okay, like that. Get in briefly. Oh, there they are. Come on, then. Come on. Where are you? There's another one over there. We do need to watch ourselves a little bit. Like this one especially will be really easy. Sounds like there was multiple, so that's a little bit concerning. Okay, I don't think I should risk this anymore. Uh, we've already got quite a lot. Let's drop the gut. Drop the hide. So we're no longer stinky. Let's try and just lure the one that's already nearby. Yeah, they're both walking away. Let's get that arrow back. Let's get that one. Come on. Come back to me. God, there's so many of them. I'm worried there's going to be another one, like, appearing behind me. Oh, he's got... Damn. <laughs> okay. He's... He's... He's gonna die. But annoyingly... I was hoping I could have just dropped him before he ran away too far. Not Wolf Town anymore, it's my town. <laughs> okay, well, that's um, two separate wolves. Very dead. We have to chase this one down annoyingly. If it's gone past the farm, I think I'm just going to have to go look for it another time. Um, which will be a shame. Because it's got my arrow in it. Oh, back up here. I 
But how far did it go? Come on. I can hear the crows. It must be close. I can't see them though. God, it went a long way. <laughs> For God's sake. Um, went. Okay, it's just disappeared. I think that means it's died. But I can't... This is annoying. Damn it. Okay. I think we're going to have to look for it another time when the fog's cleared. We can actually see and hear the crows. Which is a shame. But there's potentially two dead wolves out there somewhere. Whatever the case, let's go back to the house. How many hours did we lose? A few. It's fine. We'll go back to the house and we can butch the one that's outside the property. Um, you never know, we could always lure the ones we've already hit back doing that. But it is... Uh, I, can't, I can't see a thing. I cannot see a thing. That's the road. Okay, that's fine. Easiest way to find the way back. that way. I can hear the crows. I can't see them. It's annoying. We just have to wait. Can't justify trekking out in the fog for a wolf carcass. Whatever the case, let's grab this wolf that we killed. Uh, butcher it for everything. Then we can go back in. Cool. Still a good amount of wolf meat, though. Uh, let's drop the guts over here. And the hide over here. We've now got enough to make the uh, wolf po uh, the wolf coat if we want to. Which I don't know if we strictly need anymore because uh, what we've got is technically, I think, as good, if not better, arguably. It just doesn't have the chance to scare away wolves. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, do we have enough stuff to light this fire? Probably not. Let's break that down. We don't have any spare wood lying around, do we? Not that I can see. Break down that. I actually need to break everything down. Don't really want to. It'd be nice to keep some bits around. Just the, for the uh, decor. Uh, 300 calories. We've only got 330 calories. Okay, let's leave that. That should be enough to at least start the fire. Okay, we need some tinder. Where's the honey? Did uh, Where's the hive? Did I put the hive away? Hello, how's it going? <laughs> 
Let's find that hive that I put away. We'll harvest that for the tinder plugs. 30 minutes. We'll then just eat the honey straight away. And then we'll cook up some wolf meat. Some tasty, tasty wolf meat. And some water, apparently, because otherwise we're going to die. Oh no, we've got some surplus on the floor, don't we? I do need to cook some more, though, because we've only got one more litre. Lovely. Cool. I'm not going to be able to carry this right. load for much longer. Start this fire. Uh, 65%. See, tallow makes it 100%, so it's definitely worth having. So let's start this fire. We'll cook up the wolf meat that we've got, and then we should have another two wolves out there with three of my arrows in them that I can get when it's a little bit lighter outside. Not as foggy. Okay, so. Should be enough. Put all this up. Go. Go. There we go. How much is left? Uh, lots. Twelve, I think. Drop all that. There we go. Uh, Twenty-two minutes. Twenty-one. Oh, that's already done. Oh, go away. No, we need to pick them up if we want to put them in the the pans. Where's that bow? Drop that bow. Cool. Cook up all the wolf meat. I should have dropped this on the floor. Normally it makes it quicker, but actually for us it's making it slower. You can see how much quicker it is to cook stuff now that we're level 3 cooking. That is a blizzard outside. It's very loud. If it's too loud for you, I can turn it down. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? <clears throat> we've just hunted a couple of wolves. Uh, we've still got... An, well, technically, I think we hunted four wolves in total, although we haven't found the bodies of two of them. It sounds like a blizzard outside, and we're just cooking up the uh, tasty wolf meat. There we go. Uh, nine minutes. There we go. Let's cook that one in that one. Water in that one. Uh, Took the raw fat down into tallow. Add a bit more fuel so we can cook some water. Still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Water. Cook up the raw fat. That's fine. Nice, right? um, much more. Yeah, that'll do. Mind to add that one. Oh no, that one. That one. There we go. 15 minutes to boil. Uh, seven minutes already. Nice. Uh, keep managing all this. Oh, was it? 41 minutes, that's fine. No, we need to add another thing. Tallow or tallow? Add that tallow.
Well, we've got plenty of water now. I think we might just have enough time to do that. 40 minutes, 10 minutes, 4 minutes, 4 minutes. That. Walk with this much gear. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of water. <laughs> 11.57 litres of water, to be precise. Right, and how many calories do you have left? 600, right. That's fine. What's the highest calorie we've got on this? 755. Five. Let's eat one of them. We do get the risk of parasites from it. I'm actually going to eat two. Because I'm going to take that extra little risk. That's fine. And that means we've got 4% risk of parasites. Um, but that should wear off after a day or so. Yeah, it it, it does. Uh, eating predator meat, you get a risk of internal parasites. Um, until you get to cooking level 5. Where you don't get that anymore. So that's... Yeah, we are, we're cooking it basically to level up our cooking. And doing that, we've got uh, just about a third of the way to level four. So it's worth doing. And what we can do is we can just dump this meat outside. And we can, we can basically forget about it. Um, because when you get to level five, you can eat, like, moldy off food without any penalty to food poisoning. So it's... It's very OP to the point that it's kind of like what you can get in Project Zomboid. Uh, but I think even more OP than that. So uh, it's I think it's just a reduced amount of calories by a small margin. I think. I'm not 100% on that. But we could just leave that until it gets to one condition. And then at level 5 we can still eat that. So it's worth stockpiling meat and just leaving it on the floor. Because once we get to level 5, it's no longer wasted. So... Um, have another drink from our 11 litres of water we're lugging around with us. And let's go to sleep. And we'll try and find those wolves um, in the morning. Right. Um, we got nine litres. Um, put this somewhere on the floor. Ah! Let me find somewhere to put this. There. Oh. Sounds like an aurora. Good thing we didn't go looking for those wolves now. Ah, brilliant. Just enough time for a quick drink and to read an hour of one of our books before we go and find these, um, our tasty wolf friends. I reckon if we read this book and we cook up the next wolves, we might get level four. And honestly, that wasn't that painful to cook all that up. Cooking like a bear is uh, is a completely other story, or a moose or something. It takes hours, hours and hours and hours. But that wasn't too bad. So, at least we can see now. And we're just looking for a couple of wolf carcasses. It looks like we are basically without car uh, wolves entirely in the front now. Which is lovely. We're actually safe. And around the back, there's probably only one or two. The only problem is how far these wolves actually went when we left them. I've got a feeling one of them ran this way and the other one ran back on itself. There's two there. I think it's only going to be those two. Yeah, I don't know where the other one would be, but it's probably still this way. Let's go and find them. The only problem is that uh, corpses can disappear in blizzards. They just—it's a known thing. They just can disappear. 
Uh, it's happened to me with a bear before, and it was the most annoying thing in the world. Um, so, if we don't find them, that's really annoying. The only reason it's really annoying is because we've lost three arrows. Um, I don't mind if the actual corpses are gone, because wolves are infinite, we can always get more. And really, it's just, it's hunting them to level up our cooking skill, but also um, because it makes our base safer, because wolves are a pest from where we are. But, uh, the actual meat itself isn't the biggest loss in the world. So, keep our eyes peeled, see if we can find them. Have we looked in here? Pretty sure we looked in here before. There's nothing in here anyway. So last time we tracked it down to the river. I'm assuming then it can't be that far away. Like, it must be near here. Because we tracked it a long way. I imagine it's probably dead in the river somewhere. But if we can't find it, it's not the end of the world. Because it could have just disappeared due to the blizzard. And I'll hold my hands up and just say it's bad luck on our part. Yeah, high vantage point, let's have a quick peek. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I always said it in Project Zomboid, and originally I said it uh, as without really meaning to, for it to... Because it was the end of the world, but it's, it's quite fun to say, knowing that it is because of that. Um, anyway. I still can't see it. Is that it? it looks like there's something by that tree. I think that's a corpse. Yeah, there we go. That's one of them anyway. So we need to find the other one. Please say that this is the one with the two arrows. I won't mind as much if it's we lose one. No, this is the one with one, of course it is. Oh, and of course this is one with an awkward hitbox. Oh, 12 kilograms of meat though. Um, three hours and 51 minutes. What does it feel like? Minus six. Um, right, tell you what, let's, um, let's cut down this. We'll start a fire. Butcher it properly. Uh, let's use the accelerant. And we can use a magnifying glass for the first time. It's. Oh, seriously? Where's the wind coming from? Where is the wind coming from? There we go. We're sheltered here. Magnifying glass. There we go. This is the first time we've actually used the magnifying glass <laughs> to successfully, or hopefully successfully, light a fire. Oh, Come screw on, you. Fire. Come on. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use the accelerant. Why not? Would like to get this over and done with as quick as possible, so I think we can justify it. Perfect. Uh, three of them. Right, so that is gonna warm that up a bit. It's gonna warm the carcass up a bit. Can we just harvest like a little bit of it? Yeah, like that for half an hour, and hopefully by the time we've done that, the wolf will actually be defrosted. 
<laughs> uh, 70 cent throw is not quite. Okay. Um. Okay, the gut. And, oh, it's so close, but not quite enough. That's annoying. Um, it needs to be below 50, and we can easily harvest it without, like, many issues. But, uh, where's that? Let's just harvest one kilo of it. By that point, it should be a lot easier to harvest the rest of it. It should be below 50. Uh, we can then cook that on the campfire while we're waiting. It'll take 32 minutes. And where are you? And then let's do six. And we can cook some of this on the campfire while we're doing the rest of it. Right, that's... Um that on there. Guts, go away. Okay, so how long is that going to take? Uh, 30 minutes, 31 minutes, that's fine. Come on, where's that? There we go. And that's enough just to do the rest. Brilliant. And then we just need to make the trek being all stinky back to the house uh, where there's wolves everywhere and um, yeah then we're good cool right cook stuff over there right and we're fine uh, it's past time we're going to be able to do. Oh, we might be able to do all of it if we're lucky. Yeah, we should, should be able to do all of it. My only worry is that we're going to run out of uh, saturation and we're going to be very hungry. Yeah. Let's pick up this preemptively. Uh, take the torch. Drop any of this gear. Yep. And let's head back. It's not that far away, it's just the problem that the wolves are going to have noticed us. do now? <laughs> um, I guess uh, start another fire? We can't. Uh, typical. Right, how far are we? Let's take the hide. No, not yet. Bit of a shame. It would be nice to have bone harvesting. Okay, we've still got the... Okay, apparently we've got a bird as well. A crow died next to us. Thank you. Uh, nothing... Oh, the crow... Did the crow just disappear? Yeah, the crow just disappeared. That's a shame. Um, oh, we've got... Harvest it. Um, okay, fine. Come on.
It's going to turn into a blizzard, doesn't it? Yep. I need to, we need to hurry. Because this torch is going to go out. Yeah, like that. Pause. At least a blizzard uh, will deter the wolves. But if any wolves are detecting me before now, they're all going to be swarming to my location. I don't know what takes priority for wolves, whether it's me being stinky or avoiding the blizzard. I imagine avoiding the blizzard, you would think that may make more sense than risking their life for a tasty snack from me. <clears throat> but I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure if this, this doesn't count as a full-on blizzard yet, though. We'll do in a second. So we've got a wolf back. We've got two wolves. And another two wolves. So that means we've got... Um, the original wolf we killed with two arrows in it is dead somewhere we need to find. Um, and since that, we this is going to be the second blizzard we've had. So chances are that, that corpse is long gone. Um, we've got another wolf with another arrow um, in it. I only hit its foot, though. Although it is stuck in, so it should still bleed to death. But that's another wolf dead. Somewhere. And then we've got the corpse back there we still need to harvest, which I can harvest probably tomorrow at this point. Yeah, it's already quite late. But not bad. But we cooked up a whole other wolf, so content about that. What's our... Cooking's nearly level four. Pretty damn good. Yeah, it looks like they've already scarpered. Which is good. Don't need to worry about the wolves today. Somehow this blizzard isn't even affecting our temperature. Oh, only just. <laughs> it gets a tiny bit cold, we'll feel it. But that's how good our clothes are. Oh god, I've just noticed. No, 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 we can't lose well fed. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to risk the parasites. Yeah, that's gone up to nine. I didn't want to risk losing well fed. I don't think we would have made it back to the house. I know, I know, don't worry. We'll eat some proper food and then you can go to bed. I'm a bit worried about parasites now. We've got it to 9%. I'm sure we'll be fine. And it's not... We've got plenty of resources to cope with if we do get parasites. I can't remember the cure for it, but we can... We can we can work it out. Right, so. And then we've got uh, ruined crow meat, which is going to have to go over here. Because we can technically cook that. Um, and it'll be fine, I think, at level 5. I think. I'm not 100% on that, though. Um, let's eat some ginger cookies. Get our saturation up full. And we'll be good. And basically what the plan is now is I'm going to go to sleep. We're going to try and find uh, those wolves in the morning. Harvest them. Come back. We can cook it up. And then I think uh, we will press on to Coastal Highway. I think after that. Should have some gut on us. Lovely. And we've got two fresh wolf hide. Very nice. We've got so many crow feathers, it's ridiculous. And also we've got the other crow feathers here, which we can harvest ten crow feathers for. So finding those dead crows is amazing. You get so many crow feathers from that. Alright, let's put the fat away. We can't fit the fat in. We fit all the crow feathers? We can. Good. This is going to be the fat coat. <laughs> all the fat goes in there. That'll work. Now let's go up to the bedroom. So we actually have a proper sleep in our proper bed. Um, how tired? We are quite tired. We should be able to make... Get an hour of this. Before we get too tired to read. We might make one more hour. It will be to the line, though. Oh, just about. Nice. 
Oh, risk of eternal power sites is healed. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Good. Right. Okay, so. Two, just two more wolves to find. We know of one. We just need another two. Fine. Yeah, that's right. We will take some food with us this time, though. So I don't screw myself over. Um... Take that. Take some honey. I'll do. And we should prioritize eating the the uh, wolf meat when we don't have risk of internal parasites. There we go. It's foggy. No, I'm gonna wait for one more hour. Or we can just read the two. Just finish the book off. There we go, drop that. And we must be close level four now, surely. Yep, yeah, very close. I reckon we harvest that wolf up and we'll be good to go. I'm going to go this way round uh, to that wolf that we found before because the other wolf that was dead might have ended up this side. It might have disappeared by now. I'm hoping not. That's not going to be the wolf. That's going to be the human that's over there. Yeah, the wolf shouldn't detect me. I'm not stinky or anything. It's the problem how far they can run, though. The wolf could have gone for, like, absolutely miles. Which is really annoying, because it, it could just be lost now forever. <laughs> we won't be able to find it. It's kind of awful in a way, but can't be helped. If it's gone, it's gone. Luckily, it, it would, it would, it, I would feel it more if we were like on interloper or something. On Stalker, it's not too bad. We can always make more arrows. Uh, we can always, and we haven't even forged anything yet. So it, it's not, it's not that big a loss for me. And also, we've got so many. We've got so many bullets. It's not really an issue anyway. We could just be using the rifle right now, and we would be fine. Um, oh, well, hang on. Is that the other one? That looks like the other one. I think there's an alive wolf up there, but that's where the other corpse is. That looks like a dead wolf. That is a dead wolf. Does this have my two arrows in it? Please say it's got my two arrows in it. Yay! Boom. Got my two arrows back. Uh, how long... There's not actually that much meat on this one. Yeah, I might as well just harvest it as is. Good. We're very stinky again. I don't think there's going to be that many wolves. I think there was the one that we left alive. But I think that's probably died. Because <laughs> it should have died from bleeding somewhere. Oh, there's loads of them. Um, can you go away, though? I don't, I don't want to fight you. I really don't. Just go up and round. Please just go away. I've killed so many of your kind. I really don't want to do any more. Where is it? I think it was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, here we go. You're like, go away, though. I will hunt and kill you. 
I have no reservations about doing this. Oh, that, what? No, screw you. you. You should have died then. Come back here. I missed the headshot. <laughs> um, so I'll go back to the fire. We'll dump the stinky stuff. We'll follow that one. annoying. Hunted so many wolves this episode. There he goes up there. He's still running. Well, I can hear the crows, so we might find the other one. There's one over there. Is that the original one? Probably. Oh, we're back here again. Oh, this is a human corpse. Another dead crow. Very nice. Where's the dead crow gone? Let's harvest the feathers, because they're very useful. We'll pick up the sticks as we go so we can light a fire where we butchered the first wolf over there. Uh, is that the dead wolf we killed? I think it is over there. Yeah, that is. Good. So we are finding them. Uh, how frozen are you? You're very frozen. That's the original one, then. That's the one we hit in the foot. That wolf carcass was there from the beginning, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, right. So you will be quicker and easier if I just use the hacksaw on you. Can't carcass a... What? That's not fair. Um, okay, we're just going to... Oh, no. I used the wrong tool. That's going to take forever. Oh, I was meant to use the knife. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that's ours. Okay. Well. Um. Fine. I think I'll drink. We should be able to make our way back to other Wolfie. And cook them all up, I think. I think we have hopefully have decimated the populate the wolf population of this map. <laughs> Wolves are a pain on this map, and I feel like we've um, we've done a service by hunting so many of them. At least a service to me, anyway. I won't have to deal with them again, not for a little while until they respawn in, which hopefully is a, a, a fairly long time. I think it's twelve days, something like that, anyway. In hindsight, what I should have done is made the fire in the abandoned uh, shed just over there, wherever it is. That would have made a much better fireplace. And we could actually be semi-sheltered. Yeah, over there. Um, where did... Yeah. So all my stuff must be over there as well. Well, I think it's a good thing that we haven't had any wolves come attack us this time round. 
That means there can't be that many left. <laughs> the nearby area, anyway. Right, the crows will guide us back to the original corpse. There we go, over there. So, we dropped all the meat over at this side. We'll start the fire back up again. We'll probably have to chop some wood before we do that. Um, then we'll cook up all that we've got. And then head back. Start a fire. Um, how long is that going to burn for, though? Only three hours, and then we've got um, a little bit more. We've got enough for about four out. There, there you are. No, what did I do? Why did I do that? Come on, don't you, de don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, that was, that was, that was, uh, hubris. No, what am I doing? Um, am I alright? We're fine. Did our clothes get ripped? Yes. Yeah, that's me pushing my luck too much. Alright, we didn't actually get damaged too badly. And it's bleeding. We might find another corpse. <laughs> okay. Let's harvest one more. And then that should be enough to uh, keep the fire going for quite a long time. It's getting dark out here. I'm here for shelter. Yeah, are too tired. That's fine. We'll have to light the fire enough that we can sleep as well. The other corpse was just over there, wasn't it? Um, let's have a look at our food situation. We're alright for a bit. Let's eat that one. We should get another bear from that. Thank you. Dance a bear. I think we've already got it. But I will take it anyway. Start the fire. Zero chance of success because it's too dark. Let's use a lamp oil. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we've already got dance and stuff like that. There we go. Eight hours. Good stuff. best to drop all the meat you've got so that we don't attract any more wolves than we need to. Right. Keep them, the guts over there. There we go. Was that? Parasites is gone. Let's go, no, Parasites still there. A little bit more meat. Yeah, I think that's it for the meat. Uh, add a little bit more. Uh, we don't have anything to cook water in, that's a bit of a shame. We've got seven hours. Let's put this 
by the campfire as close as possible. Sleep in three hour increments. Increments. We should be alright. We're going to be thirsty, but we can't really help that. Uh, do we have... We have nothing to help with that. Uh, see the crackers. Is that a wolf right there? There's a wolf just right... There. There's two. Are they just stalking me? This is really annoying. Yeah, they are just stalking me. How long so do I have left? I can't think uh, three hours. I'm a bit worried about waiting any longer because I don't really want to die of thirst. Take some torches. will be attracted to us, but we should be okay. I say that, there's absolutely loads of them. Just keep going. I don't think I want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, risking my life for the sake of a couple of arrows and the wolf hide. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. Um, we need to trek over there. What I could do is just drop the decoys, which I might do. Yeah, let's drop a decoy. Just a little bit of the meat. Yeah, it's going to go for the decoy instead. And then we can keep running. There's the other heart. There's the other wolf. He's there. Ah, okay. Um, that's not that bad. It's fairly close. We should be able to get the arrow at least. That or not. No, we can't get the arrow. Um, okay, well, he's, he's pretty close. Uh, light source torch. No, that, please. Thank you. Right, so it's just on the edge of the farm. That's fine. <clears throat> well, I reckon we'll butcher that one, and then I won't do any more with the wolves. I think that's possibly enough. Um, I don't really want to risk my life getting wolf meat. It's nice to have so that we can cook it up and level up, but it's not worth this risk at all. Because I thought we were making a massive dent in the wolf population, and they just still seem to be everywhere. There was at least three over there. So I don't think it's worth doing as much as we're doing it. I mean, I, how, I don't, I'll check how many arrows we've got left. I think we've still got eight or nine. <clears throat> um, hang on, I've lost my way. Where are we? Where are we? The road's there. We need to follow the road. There, there we go. There's the house. Okay. I think we've still got eight or nine. I think we started off with, what, 12? 
So losing a, three, a few arrows isn't that big a deal. I'll accept that loss for the amount of wolves we've killed. <laughs> Anyway, extinguish that. We don't need. We might as well save it while we're here. Uh, close that. Right, another two. Excellent. Um, a bunch of wolf meat, which is very nice. Nice. Let's go in. I cannot see a thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. There's all my water. There we go. And... Do, 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 do. Take a couple of these so I can cook water, worst case scenario. Let's eat these. And then let's settle down here just for a quick sleep. And how many wolves do we have left? To I, got, I don't even know. I've lost count of how many wolves I've got left to take out. Oh, that's a storm again. How many blizzards have there been in such a short space of time? Research for four hours. Should have gone by then. No? I kind of just wanted to get this wolf and be done, but apparently I'm not allowed. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go for the one that uh, we've still got. storm has gone on all day. Okay, I might as well just finish off this book and then call this day a wasted day, because that's crazy. We've had so many blizzards in such a short space of time. This has been crazy. Um, right, finish off the water. We'll read this book and we'll just pretend like this day didn't happen. At least we should level up our uh, field dressing. I'll butchering at least. I'm gonna use the rest soon. There we go. It must be really close to yeah. Um oh no, we we literally just did level up. There we go. Nice. And that now means that we can harvest 75% frozen carcasses. Very nice. 30% reduction in meat harvesting times, 20% reduction in gut harvesting times, and we are so close to level four cooking. Which was kind of the main aim of doing all this. So that's very nice. Um, do we have any food on us? No, of course we don't. Uh, we should just be able to sleep for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Go grab some wolf meat. We'll be fine. At least it's not as windy outside now. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Take a couple of these. Um, yeah, grab a few things outside. It still looks awful out there. Uh, still on one percent, so that's fine. Yeah, we finish with that. Let's drop all them. Extinguish that. We'll harvest the crow feathers. That takes half an hour, and then we should be able to go out and get this last wolf. If we want to. Oh, it's still so dark. Okay, wait for an hour. There we go. 
Uh, should we eat something else? Let's eat that. And I kind of want that as well. Thank you. Or down the, the cider. A little breakfast cider. <laughs> I love that breakfast cider. Oh, why is it still foggy? It's, it's fine. I know roughly where it is. Ah, see you later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest this last wolf. Um, we will cook up the meat. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Coastal Highway. So I spent a lot more time hunting wolves than I was expecting to. But by doing this last little bit, we should get up to level 4, which is amazing. Very, very, very nice. And that's a long... Well, it's a massive step towards being self-sufficient and lasting nearly forever because as soon as we get to level five we just don't have any issues we can really take our time with everything um harvest everything at a leisurely pace and yeah because we can just let the food rot if we want to and there's no consequences so that's cool um but i think it was just on the other side of this verge wasn't it yeah where the crows are We may need to light a flare if the wolves are still around. Which does sound like they still are. Over there. Okay. Uh, wolf carcass. Um, we can't call for it. Annoying. Uh, let's do that, do that, do that. Uh, two hours, 21, that's fine. I wonder if I can drop there you go. Perfect timing, way. because it's starting to... The wind's starting to pick up again. Wonderful. And I'm worried the wolves are going to come out the woods again after us. There's technically one more wolf, like, over there. That I think I had about 12 kilos of uh, meat in it. Yeah, I think I can just about see it over there. Um, I don't think it's worth the risk. It's too far away. When we, har when we harvest that, the chances are that we'll be ambushed by wolves again. Because it's, like, the third time we've tried... And every time we've been hot, um, ambushed. So I'm just not going to bother with that one. We got the hide from it. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. No, I'm not going to risk that. Um, is it running away further? He's running away towards the house. If he turns around now, I'm just going to shoot him with the bow and arrow. Harvest this one, we're done. Yeah. This pack is too heavy to um, the one with the campfire without the skin, yeah, and then there's one, but I thought the one that had the arrow was the one that was dead over there, but there's no arrow next to it. So I don't know where the arrow for that one went, unless I accidentally picked up and didn't notice. I think that one, the frozen one I just got, was the one that I shot in the foot. I think. Not 100% on that. But there probably is one more corpse somewhere. But honestly, I've had enough of 
killing them. <laughs> we've got we've we've killed so many, and how many arrows did we lose? I think we lost one. In all of that, we lost like one, maybe two arrows. I'm comfortable with that loss. Um, <laughs> the amount of meat we've got and the amount of hide is ludicrous. And I think we've hunted pretty much all the wolves in the area, maybe bar one or two. Like, this place is now safe. Probably for, I think, it, how long does it take for them to spawn in? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, fine. Um, but whatever the case, there's probably there probably are like you said another two uh, two wolves. But I'm not sure if it's worth the effort of going to get them. Uh, we've done it a lot over the last stream. <laughs> we've done all of these. Um, I would rather do something a little bit different now. Um, just because. Yes, thank you. I've, I've, <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. Uh, how much meat do we now have? Yeah, that, that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to cook all this up, and then we are going to head over to Coastal Highway. Plan. I'm going to need to probably break some stuff down. So we can have enough to actually light this fire. Uh, that'll do. There we go. There we go. Cool. That should be enough to at least light this fire and cook what we've got. Uh, Tins of plugs. We'll just use the lamp oil. We've got plenty, I think. Do we? No, we don't. No, I should. I shouldn't waste it. Good matches. Fire strike is better. Let's use that. Yeah. But at the very least, doing all that will have leveled up our carcass harvesting skills significantly and also our cooking skills on, significantly. And that was the whole point of what we did this. The hides are kind of secondary. They're nice. The food is really good. But again, it's not strictly needed. It only really gets good once it gets to level 5. It's good to have, though. We've now got pretty much unlimited food from doing all this because if we cook it and put it outside, even if it gets to a really low condition or it rots, we cannot get food poisoning or parasites. It's very nice. I don't do. carry this load for much longer. We do, do this as quick as possible. There we go. We are now cooking level four. Uh, two minutes. And look how much quicker it is to cook now. If we cook it in one of these, it takes 44 minutes. It only takes 23. Uh, it should take 44 minutes. It takes 23. It's like super good. How quickly we do everything now. Unfortunately, it looks like some of it is, uh, or was, mouldy to begin with because we took a little bit too long to pick it up. But whatever the case, it does go back to 89 condition after we've cooked it. Right, we've got actually quite a long time left. I really overestimated how much wood we would need. Um, that's fine. We can at least cook some more water. Um, that much? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, might as well use the cans while we've got them. It does look the green water is refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, I don't think it tastes very nice. 
but yeah. 18 minutes till boiled. Go with that stuff. Uh, how long left? Oh, that's fine. Pick one of them up. Pick that up. 11 minutes till boiled. 10 minutes. 3 minutes. Um, oh, that's not going to be enough. Do we have any sticks? I'll just put one of them on. It's fine. Dry, board dry, board dry, board dry, pick that one up. Lovely. And that sounds like another storm. Oh, the sooner we get out of here, the better. And all this meat. All this meat is mine. Uh, do we have parasites? We still have parasites. Let's go drop it outside. And we'll be alright. Like, I don't know whether it's better for it to be out the door, technically. Or if this is okay. I'm presuming this is okay to leave it here. And it still technically counts as outside. I'll keep one bit on us so we can have that in a bit. Um, it is time to get dark. Yeah, I think that's alright. And various states of being... Cured. Cool. Okay, I think that's alright. <clears throat> uh, drop that, we don't need that anymore. Oh, we barely have any calories stored. Oh, I'm going to have to eat that wolf meat. It only had 41 calories, that piece. Really, the one piece I picked up had no calories. <sighs> Fine. Actually, I don't, I don't need to... I don't need that. Eat what we can that's here. <clears throat> we just need to consume enough to get through the night, really. We're not going to sleep the full 12 anyway. Yeah, right. uh, two hours. Just until it's light enough that we can actually see. There we go. Right then. I think it's high time we went somewhere new. Somewhere exciting. Let's just check our clothes, make sure they are in okay condition. Um, yeah, they're acceptable. Yeah. Let's repair that one. No. Come on. I'll do. And then I reckon we go coastal highway. I will bring the hammer because we might go to Desolation Point. So I think it's worth taking. The rest... Mm, I don't know. We're going to leave the rifle ammunition because I'm not going to take a rifle with me. Uh, come on. There we go. Um... For a sec. That will do, I think. Yep. Put them back. That's fine. Put that back. Yep. Got enough clothes. Got enough of that. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine. We just need a bit of food on us. I think we're good. How much water did we have? 2.4. That's enough. Let's get some water and then let's go to Coastal Highway. Do something a little bit different. Sick of these four walls. Some dusty tomato soup. Sounds perfect for our trip. Uh, take the soda. We'll take the stale peanut butter. 
Flower chips. Nuts in honey. Because it's just high calorie. Still peanut butter, still peanut butter. MRE. MRE. And that should be, like, all the food we'll need for a long time. So, I'm happy with that. Okay. We don't have a risk of food poisoning anymore. So, let us eat the high... Or the one that's got the most calories. 755. Um, I'll eat another one. Just because we're not going to see it for a little while. Have a quick drink. And let's go Coastal Highway. Off on a whirlwind adventure. Got two bedrolls here, we're fine. Cool. Right. Bye-bye, wolves, or lack of. I just want to have a quick check. What a nice sight that is. No wolves behind the house. See, wh why? Why are you there? There's two wolves over there. Were they following me before? When I went into the house? I guess so. Oh, those cheeky wolves. There's not meant to be any in front of the house. And now we've got loads. There's three of them. Or is that four? So many wolves. My god, okay. I reckon those were the ones that were all following me. And I think I've just led them all the way back to the front of the base. That's great. <laughs> oh, well, um... We've got another string of wolves to deal with then, I guess. I hope they're not following me, because it looks like they're following me. No, I don't think they actually are. Well... <laughs> I hunted so many to drive them away from the base, and I ended up pulling four back to the base. Actually, I made the front of our base less safe. That's, um... That's great. <laughs> really glad I did all that. <sighs> okay. Well, anyway. Let's head to Coastal Highway. The way we go to Coastal Highway, uh, way back when, in the first episode, you may remember that I went... Did I go? I think I did. At the left of the road. So op when we go opposite the road here. Sorry, the other side of the bridge. Sorry. When we get to the little village, there's a little... We go up a little hill and there was a couple of bits and we found some honey up there for the first time. Up there is where the mine is. We have to go through that mine if we want to get to Coastal Highway. Now, there is other ways to get to Coastal Highway. We could go to Mystery Lake first where the hi via the hydroelectric dam. And we could then uh, go from the hydroelectric dam just to the left. And that will take us through Ravine, which is quite a fun little map. It's very cold, but it's quite fun. And then we could get to Coastal Highway that way. Because um, there's two main entrances at the top there. One that goes to here, and one that goes to Mystery Lake. Uh, but we're going to go through the one that takes us to the middle of the map, which is where the mine is over here. Um, I'm hoping doing that, we should be able to find some more resources and things, and we can start uh, the process of looting Coastal Highway, setting up a base there. I'm still on the fence about where to set up. I normally set up base in the gas station. I can't, I can't remember what the name of it is, but there's a little settlement where there's a ton of ton of houses. And there's a gas station in the centre, which is, like, perfect for a base. It's got a little cooking stove. It's got a... Oh, it's, I think it's got... Has it technically got two workbenches? I think so. Something crazy. Um, like, it's got everything you need. And occasionally a bear wanders through. Occasionally a moose wanders through. So it's kind of on par with Dra Trapper's Homestead, in a way. Um... You don't... I don't think you get the rabbits spawn as close as Trapper's Homestead. But you do also get a lot of wolves nearby. So, it's still really good. Um, but I think Trapper's Homestead is in Mystery Lake is probably arguably one of the best spots. Especially if the moose wanders through and the bear wanders through there. Um, it's really, really good for like everything you need. And it's got saplings there, usually. You can usually last indefinitely when you get there. 
I know I get confused myself. <laughs> um, it's the problem between doing a stream of this and also a series. I quite like the difference um, doing stuff, and I will be I will be splitting the series up a little bit more, um, doing a more variety of stuff. Ah, hello, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping to branch off a little bit between the series, make them a little bit a little bit different. Um, annoyingly, when I started the uh, my <laughs> my series, I was hoping to start on a different map, and I still ended up starting on Pleasant Valley. Um, completely unintentional. I was really hoping to start somewhere else, but doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, I misread. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, hello. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Wait, is that a wolf? Why are there so many? Is that was that one or is that just a branch? I think I'm just being paranoid now. I think that was there's something there. Um It is a wolf. There's too many wolves here. I'll be glad when we're gone. Um, there's two. God, why? You run. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, it's, ele it's 11 o'clock for me, so... <laughs> I'm probably going to go a bit later than I usually do. I normally end it about now, but I did start a little bit later, so... I think I'm probably going to go on for... Maybe another half hour, another 45 minutes. Uh, probably when I've got to Coastal Highway and I've got a little bit settled. Right, anyway, let's go back to our original house. Original home. Ah, lovely. It's been so long since we've been here, hasn't it? Uh, oh, we've got some water. We've actually got more here than I remembered. This is nice. Uh, how much water did we bring with us? Two litres. That's not bad. I think we took pretty much everything with us, didn't we? Yeah. Oh. No, we did We did break that down so we could look, yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got quite a lot of wood here. Uh, the, si the, the stream is basically just to keep going as long as possible. The series is um, pretty much to survive for 100 days. Like, that's that's the like kind of end goal um this one it's just to keep going until we die um is is the main difference but then this one is modded and the series is vanilla is the main difference right now um really i wasn't expecting the stream to go on this long kind of thing um but it's been pleasantly surprising and it's been nice just to have the uh the variety in the sense that i can I can have modded stuff, play around with it, and be fun. And the series can be a bit more, a bit more technical, I guess. But uh, yeah, the 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 main series will end when we get to 100 days, and this uh, won't. Is the main difference. Isn't it? It's kind of. I'm hoping it's kind of a prelude to me doing interloper, because I haven't really done interloper properly. Uh, the strategies for the series is this, the stream is a lot more relaxed. It's kind of, I do whatever I want to do. The series you'll see is a lot more condensed. Um, I'm going to be a lot more mobile, a lot more moving around. Um, like, for example, this episode, we finished doing Pleasant Valley. Uh, next episode, we go straight into getting the backpack and also going up Timberwolf Mountain and do we do that next? i think it's next episode we do that but anyway it's it's like it's very condensed so we will pretty much continuously keep moving the stream is a bit more relaxed in that sense we're gonna be kind of using resources and uh, calming down doing stuff at a more leisurely pace where is this wolf where are you there you are no, I don't want to fight you. Uh, 
I don't want to fight you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh. You can't see the stream anymore. That's bizarre. It should still be there. Yeah. That's bizarre. Oh, it definitely hasn't ended. <laughs> um, it did that a few times previously. It could be something to do with we've got a massive we've got an actual storm where I'm where I live, so it might be affecting cables in some way, shape or form. So apologies if it's done something like that. It shouldn't have done, but you never know. We, um, our internet is pretty much based on these massive cables that go under the sea. Um, <clears throat> and we've had it before where just a boat traveled through them. <laughs> Literally caused a massive, um, a massive cut through them. Uh, that was awful. We, uh, yeah, no one had internet for a good couple of days on the island. It was a bit, it was a bit rubbish. It could be they have they have messed me around before. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, but this was just a random fisherman, I think. Who I think it was a fisherman. Um, so I don't actually know. I don't think it was a. It was someone just with a massive boat who clearly didn't know what they were doing in the waters they were in. Um, and yeah, it was awful because no businesses had internet. Everyone was paying by cash. Uh, there was no cash point. Re well, there was a cash point. Like, was there? No, there wasn't. You had to go into the bank for cash. It was all very weird. Um, very much back, back into the olden days, like it used to be. Um, but even then, it was really strange because yeah, we we had <laughs> everyone was relying on. Uh, entertain their children without tablets and TVs. It's a bit odd. <laughs> right, so I think we've got away from the wharf. There is a wharf that tends to be about here. So... Let's extinguish that. I guess we could technically use that to light a fire if need be. I know. So why would you want to spend time outside? It's, it's uh, the sun is awful for your skin. Why would you want to go out there? <laughs> but anyway, we're here. We're at the mines. <clears throat> uh, right. So. Let us grab this. Let's trek through, see what we can find. A little bit of coal. Even if you're not going to use it, it's worth picking up all the resources you can find, um, like coal and anything like that, because Basically, it will respawn after X amount of time. Ooh, nice. Uh, what's the 50? That's not bad. Um, kind of. This will come in handy. Yeah, that will. Um, yeah, if you took away the zombies and you added, like, predatory animals and, um, a lot less buildings... I guess if you did Project Zomboid on, like, a very sparse map, 
or maybe like in the middle of the countryside, like so away from any of the major towns. You chucked cryogenic winter in there. Um, and had, you had like uh, bears, wolves, and other animals, which it probably will be more like it in the next update, yeah? Uh, that's drop. Where is it? Picked up the wrong one. Kind of. Kind of. It's a, it's a bit more... It's a bit different, but yeah, the, the overarching thing, if you just kind of take it into account the temperature and things, yeah, it's very, very similar. There's a hunting rifle here. Never know. Could end up being useful. I've never found one here. I didn't even know ones could spawn here, so that's nuts. It is similar to Zomboid, but I would say even the loot, um, the loot on, yeah, wolves and bears will probably be, uh, it, they will be in the game, and they will be, they will be difficult. <laughs> I, I think they will be difficult. Um, I think the sport, the loot on this. Even on the setting I'm on, which is Stalker, which is nowhere near the hardest. The hardest is Interloper. I think that would be more like extremely rare, maybe incredibly rare on Project Zomboid. Um, so I think if you did Interloper on this game, which means you can't craft certain things, uh, you can't you can't get guns, uh, you can't even get like hunting knives. It's like they don't exist in the game um, oh, in Interloper. You have to craft your own. You have to craft your own bow and arrow. There's no guns. That's a lot harder. That's a complete. It feels like a completely different game. Um, I'm not good enough yet because I haven't played this game for quite a long time. So this was kind of like a trial run for me before I end up attempting Interloper. But yeah, I would say Interloper is a much more challenging game. It feels very different as well because of the fact you have to craft everything yourself and it's very unforgiving. Stalker feels more like what I would say is kind of like Project Zomboid Cryogenic Winter without zombies in first person. Kind of. Uh, it's one of the things I want to do with Project Zomboid when the next update happens, when they drop animals, is I want to be able to recreate the long dark in Project Zomboid. I think it'd be really fun to do. I think it would make for a very interesting uh, playthrough where you do have to survive in the wilderness with basically nothing very... They, I will keep zombies in. There'll be very little zombies. Uh, it will mainly be environmental stuff and hunting next to no loot. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, poor bunny. <laughs> it's, I always found that bit kind of brutal in this game when it's like you just shows you pick out the rabbit and it's like, oh, it looks so sweet. And then you just go, crack, it's awful. <laughs> it took me by surprise the first time I did it. Um, but yeah. Ooh, Storm Lantern, dead guy. Well, this stuff will come um, in handy. Um, I'll take it, but it's going to just be dropped when I get to the exit. Yeah, I think Stalker, in a way, is harder. I think the anim the animals in Stalker are harder. They're more aggressive. Interlope is harder in other ways. Um, I think the, the temperature and everything changes a lot more, uh, and the world changes a lot more as you, as you uh, progress. But I think the animals make it significantly harder in this. Yeah, the wolves can be terrifying in this. <laughs> Especially when they do do that, they appear out of nowhere or they jump scare you. It's, uh... It can get a bit much. Ooh, replace my shoes. Do we need that in Coastal Highway? Mm, no. Neither. We need one for Desolation Point, not for Coastal Highway. Ah. String bundle. Nice. And roll of ammunition. Soapberry seeds. Um, they're known for their bitter taste. Okay. Well, we've got some seeds. 
grow something. We do have simple tools there. The problem is that the more I'm <laughs> taking all this and I can't even walk. I'm going to have to leave most of this at the entrance. Um, come back for it another time. Mostly being weighed down by coal right now. If we can get to the exit, at least I can then use it. I know it's there. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I uh, interrupted your your job hunt <laughs> with a wolf face jumping at you. <laughs> right, is this the right way? I always get lost in this bit. I think this is the right way anyway. Problem is, the more coal I pick up, the slower I go. This must be the right way. If it if it's not the right way, I'm dropping all this coal. No, it is the right way. Good. No, no worries. <laughs> it's always nice to have a chat. I kind of worry if the chat doesn't go because it makes me think the stream has died or something. Uh, the amount of issues we had in the first couple of episodes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad for the chat being active. Right, so. We can barely walk. Let's drop all the coal here. I'm hoping that won't affect the spawn of the rest of it. So, those can be harvested into multiple coals, which is quite nice. And then we have 36. A good 10 weight. That's fine. Uh, that. I think I can use this. Ah, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been really enjoying doing the Long Dark. It's been something different. I, I haven't played the game for a little while, like I said previously. Um, but I did always enjoy it. I think I stopped. Uh, I did a series. It was I think it was one of the first series I ever did. It was, I think, the second. Uh, as I did it, I did it as a secondary series. Alongside uh, when I did my Terra Firma Craft series with Minecraft. Um, but... I don't think I really did the game justice. I didn't really have any aim or goal. And I kind of was very wishy-washy. And I didn't... The series didn't go on very long. And it was very much like, oh, I survived. I didn't even survive that long. But I just went from Mystery Lake to Desolation Point, And that was the end of the series. It, it wasn't very good. Um, but I haven't really played properly since then. So, really, I wanted to give the game a bit more justice. Wanted to have another go. And yeah, see if I can challenge myself a bit. Oh god. Um, let's go back in. <laughs> I think uh, I think the whole thing with um, Cryogenic Winter's good in a way for Project Zomboid, but yeah, once if you have it where there, I think it make the more terrifying thing is if you had it like you have a handful. If you have a handful of zombies, it's not that bad. If you make them sprinters, it's terrifying. Uh, if you have it where you have low population, you have some deer or something, it's not that bad. But again, if you made them sprinters or you made the zombies, for example, able to open doors or able to open windows and crawl in and get you in the night, then it gets a bit more scary. So, or you have like special zombies that can come out and get you. I think that sort of thing is the thing that makes it. Even, even normal zombies in Project Zomboid, they don't have to be sprinters, but you have them set so that they uh, have uh, pinpoint accuracy. They can track you down. They have really good memory, and also they can open windows and doors. They are terrifying. <laughs> you are not safe. Um, they will just come get you. They'll open the windows and the doors, and they will come get you, and they're basically silent when they do so. Um, yeah, this is Stalker. Long dark. That's, uh, have some more foods.
Yeah, this is Stalker in the Long Dark with mods, basically. The, do the mods aren't necessarily... They don't make anything particularly easier. Um, most of them are just um, like quality of life stuff. There's a couple that add different food types. Um, the other main ones are... Um, if I carry around multiple bedrolls, they give me a warmth bonus when I sleep. Um, I've got a blanket mod that does the same. And I've got realistic harvesting on. Oh, it's on balanced, so we get a bit more meat. But also when we cook it, we lose calories and lose weight. Um, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much the main ones. Um, I would say we're winning. What day are we on? 40? We're not doing bad. We're so, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're doing alright. Oh, dear. Uh... I think I, how many, I, I killed stupid on the number of wolves this episode, so I, I would say we're, we're winning. <laughs> um, right, I need to eat something, that's really annoying. There we go. I just have to pass the time. This is really frustrating. Um, pass for seven hours. We'll wait till a little bit tired, and then we will sleep some more. Yeah, normal zombies are sc scary enough, but I think if you you tweak them, they can be terrifying. And I think the thing is with zombies, and even the standard ones, is that. You, you're fine for most of the time, and then you get cocky, and then suddenly something bad happens, and you realise, oh, now I'm screwed. And I think that's what I like about Project Zombies, is you get so full of yourself and so confident, and then you always get taken out by the fact you just... You you didn't see that one zombie round the corner, and you hug the corner too close, and you're bit, and that's it. It's, it takes the tiniest thing for you to actually uh, lose in Project Zomboid. I quite like that. Oh god, why can't I see a thing? Um, that's like a f I think I'm facing the floor or something. I can't see where I am. Oh, now I'm facing up. There we go. Yeah, it's the only thing in uh, Project Zomboid is the the infection stuff, I tend to now play with saliva only, which I prefer to uh, the standard setting, which is where you can get scratched or laceration and you can still get infected. I feel like being scratched by a zombie and then potentially getting infected and dying due to a scratch is a bit... Uh, I just think it's unfair. I think you can do so much stuff and uh, get so far in it and then just a single scratch it takes you out. That's what frustrates me. A, a bite, I think, is fair enough. A bite is universally kind of zombie knowledge and zombie lore. A bite is you're probably screwed. But I think a scratch... I, I, don't, I don't think it's... Yeah. I, I prefer to play now with like saliva only just because I feel like it makes it feel more proper if it's a bite. A scratch can just be a bit like, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know you can you can get rid of scratches entirely and all that other stuff, but um, I think it just make it makes it, I think it makes it quite nice just being able to be like, oh, you can get into a confrontation with a zombie. And they can scratch you, or they can cause a laceration or something. Um, so you can still do you could still get injured, and you could die of your wounds, but you won't turn into a zombie. And I quite like that, because it means combat means something. Rather than having to constantly avoid combat, you can get into combat. You just have to be careful. Because um, I don't like it where, if it's got... Uh, you've got like the standard setting where you can get scratched or laceration, you can still get bitten you just avoid combat entirely there's no point it's not worth combat because if you make one slip up you have a massive chance of dying whereas if it's just a bite the bite chance is fairly low as it is 
unless it's like your back turned to the zombie and then it gets much higher. So, in that sense, I think having just Sliver only makes a lot of sense. Um, but what I kind of like is having uh, Sliver only, but you also have uh, First Aid Overhaul installed as a mod, which means that wound infections are a thing, and you can die from an infected wound, even if, it, even if you're not infected with the zombie virus. So it makes it a lot more dangerous, even in normal combat, because a scratch can then still technically kill you. It's just not from being infected with the zombie virus, it's just a standard infection. So I kind of like that way around it. That makes it feel a lot more... That makes it feel a lot more... Um, I, I want to say realistic, <laughs> but none of it, none of that is realistic, is it? Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. I think uh, First Aid Overhaul does it pretty well. I think if they were able to implement most of what they do of that into the main game of Project Zomboid, I think most people would be happy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hello there. Six shells and another distress pistol. Cannot complain about that. Right. Another wilderness kitchen. Very nice. Do we have anything else? I think there's normally something hiding sneakily under this chair. Can't really see it from that angle. Oh, there we go. Rifle ammunition. Nobody needs this Five rounds. Anymore. Very nice. Let's take the charcoal. I think we should be able to... Do that. Boom, there we go. Lovely. Oh, and a note. Scroll beans of a survivor who was here before you. And we've got a revolver cartridge. Nice. Uh, another revolver cartridge. Nice. I never have played Legend of Grimrock, no. I've heard people talk about it, but I've never actually played it myself. There's quite a few games that I've always meant to play, and I've never got around to. Ah, okay. Right, I'm going to see if I can shimmy down this hill. Yeah, I don't really want to have to go all the way down. like Skyrim. Oh, there we go. Right, that saved a climb. And I think there's a cave around here. There is. Hello, dead person. What have you got? You've got a revolver for me. What a great trip. We found <coughs> we found a rifle and a revolver. Um, we're already nearly fully encumbered. Excellent. Well, at least we can leave um, a couple of guns here in Pleasant Valley means we don't have to take <coughs> excuse me we don't have to take them back with us we can just leave them here uh, when we're a bit more settled uh, speaking of which there is a couple of houses down here let's do this slowly I say that and I don't do it slowly at all it's surprisingly easy to do this On the, on the channel, yes, a while back, I thought about doing it, playing uh, Skyrim with survival mods. I did think about it, um, but I think it's kind of overdone now. I think there's there's a lot of people doing it when it first came out, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to I'm gonna leave it. Um, I could always do it, but I would need to do a set goal to make it interesting. Uh, like, only fist fighting everyone, or... I only use telekinesis to, to take everyone out, that sort of thing. Um, I think it's starting to make it a little bit different. Ooh, wait, what was that? I picked that without even thinking. A hip 
flask. I've never found one of them. I'm presuming that's from a mod. Oh, that's... So it smells like whiskey. So I'm presuming... Do we get to keep that after we've drunk it? I don't know. Oh, wait, hang on. New location discovered. What? It didn't show me on the map. What do you mean, new location discovered? What do you mean? World map? That's bizarre. We discovered a location, but it didn't tell me where. I didn't know. I haven't seen that. Um, right. Is there anything else in here? Oh, that's a point. Yeah, journal. Journal, journal. Uh, cabin. Notes? No. <clears throat> Doesn't say... Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. It's probably going to be... Well, maybe it's like a brewery or something. I don't know. That's weird. Whatever the case. Um, I think let's explore these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore these. And then I'm going to make my way over to the gas station. And I think I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, we have been going on quite a long time. So I think that is... Um, right, something here. Sneaky, sneaky. No, nothing. Nothing really here. Sad. I think last one. Then we just need to make our way down the hill. Get to the gas station and that'll be that. I'll take it. Weird idea for you're in full Warhammer forty K and you've marooned on the planet and you can survive in different ways. Huh, yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh, what's that? Ah, sports vest. Ugh, don't like sports vest. <laughs> I want decent clothes. Right, there's nothing in this. This is this is pants. Come on, come on, do me a solid. Let's just find some interesting stuff. Let's just get. Tell you what, let's just get to the gas station. Astrid, just get to the gas station. And you can have a relax. I'll put the stuff down and we'll be fine. A bear can spawn on this path, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Um, same with wolves. I think a moose. We do have the crampons on, so we we'll, should be fine for a bit. We do risk doing getting a sprain doing this, but we should be fine. I'd rather go this way and risk a sprain than go along the top where there's wolves or bears. Or go straight along the bottom where there's probably going to be wolves. Ow. Just like that, we've got a sprain.
That would be cool. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, RimWorld ideology mechanics. There's mod. I think I think it's modded ones where you can go the madness one, um, where you have to keep. You have to do certain things. I think through worship and um, stuff to keep your madness level high enough and your cultist level high enough um, so that you can then uh, well not stay sane but so that you can keep your ideology and all this other stuff um, and that way you can also worship th things like that like um, you can choose it and there's also a Warhammer 40k mod which is actually quite cool I had to play around with it before it's quite nice um I do need to pick up Rimworld again. I do very much enjoy playing it. Um, my new, my next series, my main series after Project Zomboid was actually going to be Rimworld. <clears throat> I'd planned it all out. Um, the only problem is that the main mod that kind of the series revolved around isn't technically released yet. It's a it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it, it's still a work in progress by Chicken Plucker. Um, oh, there's a wolf right there. So he's done a few mods, but basically it adds this concept of proper trading, and it makes... There we go. The idea is he's got a few mods where basically you can go to settlements and you can like buy quests and buy help and supplies and blah, blah, blah from... Uh, the settlement itself, rather than having to get uh, quests randomly pop out of nowhere, uh, it makes it more purposeful, I guess. And I feel like it would make a really, really cool series to base that mm. on, okay. um, where you're you kind of an explorer and you go round, and then you get quests from settlements rather than just kind of sitting in a settlement and waiting for quests to suddenly appear out of nowhere miraculously. So it's kind of centered around that concept, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to he hasn't released it yet. Much so, still waiting on that. But I, I think it's probably going to be out in the next month or so, hopefully. So, I've got another idea for a mod pack which I'm working on right now. So, I'm probably going to do that first, RimWorld wise. I'm still planning to do that in RimWorld. For my next series, Ooh, very nice. but a little bit different. Yeah, I've just always found it a little bit weird. Like you just sit there and you don't even have to have a comms console, and then suddenly a quest pops up. Ooh, very nice. Um, it just doesn't really make much sense. I'd rather have it where you have to travel around, kind of like D and D style, where you go to a, you go to an inn and. Uh, you get a quest from the inn kind of thing rather than oh you're just sat 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 eating lunch and suddenly out of nowhere you suddenly know that you need to go hunt this cat thing it's a, it's, a, it's just like it's very strange um like i love room world but there's certain things i think would make a much better playthrough uh, especially the um <clears throat> Yeah, I think make it especially uh, like traveling round. Rimworld isn't very good as a game where you're a nomadic, nomadic uh, playthrough. And I think I'd like to do a playthrough which is semi-nomadic. I think that'd be quite fun. <laughs> right. Ooh, plant nutrients. We can actually grow some crops here as well. That'd be nice. What is that? Mountain cider soda. Presume that's meant to be. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to say what it's meant to be. You all know what it's meant to be. Um, yeah, I think the yeah, the, like you said, the ultimate challenge in Rimworld is basically just not, not committing war crimes. Um, yeah, Subnautica's all right. Uh, again, that Subnautica would be quite good for a stream, I guess, because it's like a a playthrough, but. It's it's kind of ooh this is lots of food this is nice it's kind of this linear. Handy. 
I know, I know it's like open world technically, but it is still very linear. And I've got, I've got it, and I have played it. I do quite enjoy it. But there was a point where it just felt really grindy. It was like, uh, this is so much food. This is nuts. What is that? Bag of white flour. Okay. We can do something with that. Uh, alphabet soup. Lecho. Um, I do have... Oh, is there a crowbar? Ooh. Missed that. Let's quickly check around here, see if there's anything down here. Can some of those find some bits? Roll the cartridge and a rifle shell. There's also what essentially is a memento catch thing there. Yeah. I do like Factorio. Factorio is one of those things that I do want to play as well. It's just very technical. And I feel like um, I'm not good enough at it. <laughs> uh, ooh, a note written by a gas station employee. 12 cereal boxes, 4 honey jars, and a couple of packs of vodka bottles. I've got to import these goods from my local dealer whose nickname comes by Kai. What? Uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Oh, this is so slow. I haven't played the second Subnautica. I've um, I've only got the first one. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're right. Ooh, come on, come on, Astro. Just get this. We'll open the lockers and I'll call it a day. Um, I do like Subnautica. I've only I haven't, I've only played the first one. I don't think I even completed it technically. I just got to a point and I just felt like I was like, oh great, I got this far, but then you have to keep doing these extra bits to then get deeper and do better. And it just felt a bit like, oh, okay. Um, I get frustrated with games like that. Um, where it's like, oh yeah, you can do this progression, but then you have to upgrade your tool to the next level to be able to do the next bit and then upgrade it to the next bit. I just find it frustrating. Um, kind of like Minecraft in a sense with like, oh, you can't mine this until you get this pickaxe. You can't mine this until you get this pickaxe. It just gets frustrating. Um, yeah, I do like Vintage Story. Um, Vintage Story is nice. It reminds me of uh, my first series I ever did was Terra Firma Craft. It's very similar to that. And I believe the creators of Vintage Story took inspiration from Terra Firma Craft, the mod for Minecraft, uh, for when they made it, their own game. Uh, I have played Vintage Story. I like it. I'm not overly... I find the... I don't think it's because I don't understand it properly, but I find the Eldritch horrors a bit annoying. Um, I feel like it's, it's a hard enough game, and then suddenly they throw in these Eldritch horrors and these gates that just appear out of nowhere, and it kind of feels a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, whenever I played, I just kept dying to them, and I couldn't really figure out how to stop that. In hindsight, looking at a couple of videos, I watched a little bit of Lime's uh, recent playthrough. I think it was just because I, I was living in a... Um, whatever it's called where it's really uh, abnormal amounts of that stuff. But it's, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like it would be fun to do a series on that. Or at the very least, I found, I did find a uh, modded mod pack for Minecraft, which was based on Terra Firma Craft. And you can go from Stone Age to Space Age uh, using those, like, kind of, the same principles as Vintage Story. So you have stuff like uh, napping and thirst and hunger and uh, working your way up in exactly the same way. Um, but it's in Minecraft. Um, but I know Vintage Story does appeal to a lot of people because it's basically not Minecraft and it is for adults. But um, I do like Terra Firma Craft um, because it's it's the, first, I, it's, a, it's the main thing of Minecraft I still like and play because... I find Minecraft a bit frustrating lots of the time. Um, I do like it, but it, it it does frustrate me, whereas Terra Firma Craft, it's, it's quite nice. The only thing I get frustrated by in that game is the fact that you still have to work your way up. So, for example, you start off with a stone anvil, and you can't craft anything bronze until you get the bronze anvil. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Well, you, you, you have to craft a copper anvil 
then a bronze anvil, then an iron anvil, then blah, 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 work your way up the list. Whereas I feel like you should just be able to make a bronze anvil and you should still be able to work most iron and other metals technically on this anvil. But they do it just to just for the sake of adding progression when it's not really needed. Yeah, it's just it's just a bit annoying. Um, ah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, again, it's because Vintage Story, I, I I played it a couple of times and I just got frustrated, but that's because I never bothered to do any research on it and figure out actually, actually how it worked. So if I bothered to do that and do my research and figure it out, I'm sure I would thoroughly enjoy the game. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just the case of picking it up again, which I may well do. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to drop this stuff and I think I can have a little little drinky drink and then I'm going to call it a day because it's quarter to midnight here and I would like to sleep at some point. <laughs> oh, I, I know you, you shouldn't have to research or enjoy a game, but there's certain things I think like Vintage Story and a few other games where you either learn through trial and error um, or you research it for a bit so you've get the basics to then and a grasp on it before you then jump in properly so <clears throat> but um yeah i feel like i would enjoy the game more if i did a little bit of research on vintage story before i actually did play it but anyway yeah i'm gonna go sleep because i'm very tired and i think we we've progressed a lot so we are now in coastal high which is very very nice we're gonna go explore the map a little bit see what we can find uh there Excuse me, should be a custom rifle here. I think, believe it's Barb's rifle. So we go try and find that. We're going to go explore the coast, see if we can find any of those orcas I mentioned before. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at the map, because there's nothing here. And we will see what we can find. I think after we've explored Coastal Highway, similar to what we did with Pleasant Valley, uh, I might try and find a moose in Coastal Highway. That, that might be what my main goal is. If I can find a moose and hunt that, uh, we can then use this as a base of operations, may mostly, if we're lucky, because a moose can spawn out the back here. If we can get that one and just hunt that down, get the moose hide satchel, that would be that would be amazing. I just heard a big noise. Was that a... what is that noise? Is that a bear? There's something. It's a bear. There's a bear right there. Um, let's get inside. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, a moose can spawn there as well and trek through there. So if we can find that moose and get the satchel, that would be great. We can get a little bit extra uh, weight capacity and we'll be A-OK. -okay. We can then, I think after we've got the hide satchel, I think we'll just go from map to map, making little settlements like this one. So we have the basic necessities here and we can just tra traverse across the maps. And I think after we've done that, um, and I think I'll then go to Destination Point, we will make some metal boxes so we can finally do my main task of being able to harvest some uh, farm some potatoes. Once we've got them, hopefully five of them, our main task of the series is complete. At that point, I think it's just a case of going to each map like I said, making little bases in each one, little campsites, exploring them because there's like uh, Black Rock Prison, uh, there's Bleak Inlet, and the new Radiation Zone that I haven't really ever explored. So I'd really like to do that uh, in this and kind of explore it with you guys. I think that'd be quite fun. So yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like Wisdom, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time where we're going to explore Coastal Highway. Cheers, guys. See you next episode. Bye-bye.